there's a saying that says, may you live in interesting times. Uh, it's interesting times, <laughs> that's for sure. It's been a wild, exciting, but uh, rewarding year. Ford has a legacy of costs and other challenges to overcome. They have to reinvent themselves today and come out with modern vehicles. Ford has to change some minds, not just to defend their market share, but to regrow it. It's very easy to be negative, very easy. But when you look at the performance of our new products, you should be very, very encouraged. And I don't know what they told you guys how fast that car goes, but it'll go faster than what they're telling you. It's unbelievable. I called it a race car on accident earlier. It's, uh, it's that good. It's fun. Fusion is doing well in customer satisfaction. We've sold everyone we get our hands on. I was impressed. I never thought Ford would make a car like that. It's really nice. When the market shifted because of the high gas prices and the May sales report came out and we saw the first couple of weeks in June, it would have been easy to just ignore it. We realized that we needed to go back to the plan that we had laid out and said, listen, we need to go faster, further, and deeper. We need to have the quality right. We need to have the design right. That right there is just going to turn the hands automatic, and you're going to know, where can I get one? The vehicle has moved on to the riding handling is there, the quietness is there. It's a lot right about where we are. A lot of things have to come together in order to make it right. And I personally will not rest until we become the best. We have these way forward targets, and we got to meet them. Or it's going to be a non-starter. Mr. Shelby, you got to explain some of these toys to me. All right. Come on. And we're testing out the Shelby GT, putting the product through its paces. Ladies and gentlemen, the all-new Shelby GT. People understand that. it won't be, let's just work harder. It's going to have to, how do we work smarter? How do we do things differently uh, to be more effective, to be more nimble? I've talked a lot about strengthening the leadership at Ford Motor Company. Your new president and CEO, Ellen Lally. Thank Ellen. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here and so honored to be here. Take a look at the entire Way Forward initiative. We're looking to succeed. In working with the UAW, we've tried to be as fair as possible in offering our separation programs. We want to make sure that these employees that are leaving are placed in a situation where they're going to succeed. When they came out with the details on the buyouts, it had my name on it. I was doing it, and I knew it, and I just had to get the details worked out. Hey! I was 19 when I went to work for Ford. I spent 29 years there. If it wasn't for Ford and UAW, I wouldn't have this place, and I wouldn't be able to go out and retire and do this full time. Yeah! Fine, good job. When a business is going through a major restructuring, you have to celebrate every success. That's a great motivator. Meet the newest member of our truck family, the all-new F-450 Super Duty pickup truck. Beautiful, man. I love it. It's a monster. Our way forward is going to be paved by breakthrough products, and Edge is just the next new vehicle to really show where we're headed for the future. It's like no Ford I've ever driven before in terms of its handling. This is the first Ford product that I've ever seen that has an emotional connection with me. The Fusion is number one in the segment in JD Power customer appeal. To be in your first year and beat out Toyota and Honda is fantastic. The challenge is getting that confidence going in the organization. And I think this year we've put our shoulder against it and we're starting to push it and it's starting to move. Next year we need to have that start gaining momentum through our performance. That's what we got to do.